Good day, guys. We've got the Acer Aspire Lite 14 here. This is the Intel N150 with 4 gb of RAM variant. And since there's no information online about it, I just wanted to see if it was upgradable. The full model number is N24WB3, also known as the AL14-32P-C6FQ. This laptop was sold in Officeworks and Harvey Norman in Australia for around $500 Australian. It was manufactured 15th of March 2025. I'll start by removing the 10 small screws on the back case and hopefully it does just lift off. It's worth noting the screws are all slightly different lengths. So we've removed all 10 screws and hopefully it does just lift off and there isn't any uh, screws hidden under these rubber feet or stickers. So the back was just clipped on with some very aggressive clips. Thankfully there were no hidden screws, it was just those 10. And to get the back off, I just started at one of the top corners and worked my way along. And once this top half was off, it did just slowly unclip sort of towards you. Unfortunately, the RAM is soldered, so it's not upgradable. That is a bit disappointing. This also does come in an 8 gig variant, which surprisingly was around $200 more. That is a fair bit of a price hike for an extra 4 gig. You can swap out the M.2 SSD and stock. It does come with a UD store brand UP4038F128G. And it's obviously a 128 gig SSD. I do have a spare 128 gig Transcend M.2 SSD. So I think I'll swap it out with this and I'll keep the stock SD somewhere safe. Here's the stock M.2. It does say it's NVMe PCIe Gen 3 by 4. And there's the model and part number. There we go. So we've swapped it out. Before I put it all back together, I'll just rest the back case on and we'll power it on, make sure it's detected in BIOS. So I was able to get into BIOS, you just have to mash the F2 key when you first power it on. But unfortunately, it doesn't detect my SSD. So I think I'll just power it off, reseed it, and try again. Hopefully it works on the second try. So I've reseeded it, but it still doesn't show up as an NVMe device. But I realize it's most likely a SATA SSD, since it was from a pretty old laptop. And if I go over to boot, it does detect our Transcend SSD, so TS128. So it is detected, it is just SATA. So now we know it works, I'll close it all up and put it all back together. So it's all back together. The case does just clip back on. You do have to put a fair bit of force on the outside for it to clip. And unfortunately we did snap one of the clips at some point, but that was to be expected. Also something worth noting is the screws on the sides do actually go in on an angle and not straight vertical down. So just be careful you don't strip them trying to put them in straight down. As we saw, unfortunately, the RAM isn't upgradable. It is soldered. Specky and CPU-Z both reported that it was four chips in dual channel. So I wasn't really expecting it to be upgradable, but this just confirms it. The M.2 SSD slot does take both NVMe and SATA. So that is pretty handy. It is upgradable. Very easy to upgrade. And interestingly, in BIOS, it did detect there was a second NVMe slot, but I wasn't able to find it on the motherboard. So I'm guessing it's just unpopulated. But if you were keen enough, you could potentially find the pads and solder a connected to it. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.